those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Right. Hello, Brian. Hello. <laughs> um, just to uh, the legal stuff first. Are you aware that I'm recording this and are you happy for me to upload it to YouTube as a vlog? I am indeed. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. So, Ryan, what part of the world are you from? Uh, I, am I am currently in Leicester and from Leicester. Right. Home of Kasabian and Leicester City Football Club, who won the Premier League once. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and how old are you? I am 27. I know you said 26, but it was my birthday last week. <laughs> so oh, 27. well. Yeah, they said 26 then, I forgot how old I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're actually the, the first guy to take part in this series, so I'm really glad that you showed an interest in it, yeah. actually, because it's been all... Um, I think we are a very kind of female-dominant lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Um, and it's great to get all of those, those stories, but, um, you know, it's nice to... Have a guy in the mix now and again. So, yeah. how how long ago did your vegan journey start? Um, my journey started. Are you on about when I actually t went vegan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so it started. Um, the literally the day I went to vegan camp out uh, to 2019. So only recently, I... so a few months back. So um, it was. Uh, it I was one day. It was like I was on and off of it. Um, and then I went to vegan camp out, um, spoke to a few people, and it was just like, why the hell am I not doing this? I know that, I know everything that's going on, yet I'm still consuming dairy and cheese. I mean, I was already vegetarian at the time, right. but it was just like, why am I cons uh, still consuming dairy? I know what goes on, and it was, I was like, yeah, so after that, I spoke to a few people, made a few friends, I was like, stop it, that night, I went, I went vegan. <laughs> Brilliant. Not, not even turned back since, so... So, how long were you vegetarian before that? Um, I went vegetarian on the 1st of June, uh, or 1st July 2016. Or 1st June, 1st June, 1st July, I can't remember what day it was. It was because I started losing weight and whatnot. <laughs> so, what so. was it What was it that made you first go um, vegetarian? Um, I, I mean, you've just explained what made you go vegan from vegetarian. Yeah been in that environment and kind of I think that's the key isn't it asking yourself the question yeah why am I still doing this yeah definitely um I so think, what, what, what was it that made you veggie it, it started funny enough it started back in 2013 whenever the horse meat scandal was whenever that was and it was a case of I was like this is wrong why am I eating horse sort of thing and then it took me a few years, and then I started buying corn burgers not long after. So it was a case of, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, it, it, I don't know why it took me so long to actually go vegetarian. I don't know what it why it, it was for it just like you know I said 2013, started, you know the horse meat scandal, started buying corn burgers, but for some reason it took me so long to. I don't know what it was that snapped one day that suddenly made me go, you know, fully veggie. Um, I think it's really interesting, though, actually, right? Yeah. It highlights that that thing that we talk about now as vegans in that everyone has a line in the sand. Everyone, yeah. has, like, if you lined all the animals up, everyone yeah, has well, a line, yeah. and they say, right, them and them are pets or and or animals that I wouldn't touch, but anything yeah. after that I'm fine with. Yeah. And so it was to... For it to be the horse meat scandal that kind of yeah, it's funny because I actually worked at McDonald's for um, a year before that, and I had no problem of eating burgers. Yeah, I had no problem. I, I think it was, I was just so like it was just the norm. Hi, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just come down from his his busy day in work. Show your head <laughs> on this. You're never on one of these. I say a quick, quick. hello. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say now. Love that. I'm, I'm hoping I've got the right person. I think I have. Come in a bit. You're well into your uh, into your WWE, aren't you? I am indeed, yes. We we <laughs> used to properly be into WWE. Then we got on to UFC. Now yeah, we're yeah. at UFC. I want to go back to WWE again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite happy to join you. Yeah. No, we I used mean, to... Uh, I mean, Dion, she, she's the same uh, WWE, now UFC. But I think now I've got the network, 
the WWE Network, we've slowly gone back to watching old pay-per-views and, you know, that sort of stuff. But um, I think, I don't know what it is with UFC. Like, I got well into UFC, like, when Michael Bisping was around. Now yes. that he's gone, I'm like, it's boring now. <laughs> yeah, he was, like the, he was like the British poster boy, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then obviously we got Darren Till now, and then it's like he got beaten, and he's sort of disappeared now, and I'm like, there, nah, well, we go back to wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm going to. What's he called that we loved, Randy Couture? Randy Couture. Oh, Randy Couture, Couture. Yeah. huge fans of his. Yeah, but we actually, we've been where... talking about, we think Conor McGregor has kind of ruined things a bit in the UFC because they've let yeah. him with yeah. so much yeah. crime. I, I don't think he helped himself when he fought Khabib, and he got a bit. It got a bit racial, didn't it? It got a bit. And then, yeah, it just, it just got a bit too much. And then, just, it sort of. I'm glad that Khabib knocked him out. If I'm honest, <laughs> I'm, actually, yeah. I'm glad that Khabib won because he was being an arsehole. He was. And I know. I know you have to have that sort of fight talk, but there's a line, isn't there? You don't mention someone's religion and race and all that sort of stuff. You know, you just say, you're an arsehole, I want to beat you up. <laughs> Badly, I think people will be in shock. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just that tiny Of course bit. it is, I forget. Course, yeah, it's... Right, go on, I'm going to go. Get to work. Good to see oh. you, Ryan. Yeah, you too, James. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before we go off the subject of UFC, we were massively into it, big supporters yeah. of it. And then um, Conor McGregor did that thing where he got on a... He got on a... He flew a lot of people over. All his mates from Oh, I, yeah, when it initially started, yeah. Uh, dollies, they call them, the metal yeah, bands yeah, yeah. onto a coach. But then a few months later, I, I was like, at that point, I said, right, he's done for now. The, yeah. he's, he's got two cocksure, he's done for. And then he was fighting again. And I just yeah. thought, Dana... I is, think it's because there's such a big market over here yeah. that he was supposed to buy after Bisping was sort of fading out. But Bisping sort of put UFC on the map over here, I suppose. And then when he was obviously retiring, Conor McGregor was then doing his stuff. And I mean, the whole thing where he, he threw everyone over, that was sort of like a WWE storyline. I mean, that's me, it's just over the top. I was like, what the hell? Like, is he going to pull out a steel <laughs> show and whack, whack a beam over the head or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put the clean my glasses. Right, back to the case in yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> so, how... I, I should imagine if you if you kind of made the if you made your mind up at the camp out you were yeah. going to go vegan you couldn't yeah. have done it at a better place because oh well, yeah yeah everything was vegan <laughs> it's sort of all mecca isn't it <laughs> yeah. so how hard was it when you got home Wait, like um, I don't think it, I mean I was still I was buying soy milk anyway and um, via life cheese so it was just the initial. Just, you know, like if I went Pizza Hut, I'd have a, you know, I'd just have normal cheese. You know, it just it was just easier rather than trying to find somewhere that had a vegan option. Yeah. So, I mean, and it was, like I said, when I went to camp out, I just made the decision there. And then I thought, so I just avoided them places until they came back with vegan options, which we now have. So it's amazing. <laughs> so you and, you and Dion live together? Uh, no, so obviously because of this coronavirus outbreak, I currently live south of Leicester, she lives north Leicester. Right. But because of this whole thing, and I work in north Leicester as well, so because of this whole outbreak, um, I've, I've pretty much cemented it beyond for the time being. <laughs> so obviously because of risking, you know, going back to family and it's not worth it. And I was still working um, when it was, you know, at its peak or, you know, whatever, and it was worrying times, you know, so I didn't. I just I would just like I might as well stay up here and then my dad fell quite ill. Um so that was that was nerve wracking, that was worrying. He he was it was just hearing him on the phone, he sounded fine and then days go on and he just got worse and worse, but now he's fine. So he reckons he might have said a chesty cop. But it was bloody worrying. <laughs> the, yeah, it. it's like as soon as you hear yeah. someone's ill in your family Especially yeah. right now, it's it is it's terrifying, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, especially when you hear uh, like a tickly cough in you know in your lungs, and you think it's like a trigger word, isn't it? Tickly cough, and you're like, oh god. <laughs> now I noticed something very interesting with you before on Instagram. You did something rather epic today, without much movement. 
Well, <laughs> with lots of movement. Lots of movement, but no that much space. <laughs> so tell us what you did, Ryan, because I think it's pretty epic. It was uh, so. Um, I woke up this morning and uh, I, I started a regime of this exercise, like core exercises and whatnot. Um, I was like, the adrenaline were pumping. I was like, I still want to do something, and I couldn't be asked to go for a run outside. I started running five k's every other day, um, keep keep me going, keep me mind sane and whatnot. And uh, I just couldn't be asked this morning. I just didn't want to go outside, um, so I just decided, sod it. I'll just run on. I'll just run on the spot until I get to five k. <laughs> and I tell you what, I was knackered after it. Ah, <laughs> but it was, the thing was, I was watching telly, and it flew by. I think I did. I think it was thirty six minutes. It took me to do it. So I was like, oh, fair enough. But normally, when I actually run it, it takes me nearly an hour. So <laughs> I'd rather do it on, on the spot rather than go outside. <laughs> it's. Do you know what the great thing about that story is? One that you've done it, and two yeah. that someone who watches this might think, "Hey, I would have never thought of that. I'm going to. Mm. I'm going to do that. I'm yeah. going to talk on the spot and watch telly because it's not something you'd necessarily think about." Yeah, I mean, I did do it shirtless as well, and this is like, you know, we got, you got Dion still in bed, and the brothers, he's having to work from home, so he's in the kitchen, and I'm thinking, I hope he don't walk in. <laughs> but <laughs> he did walk in, I was just like, do you know what, so I can't be honest, I'm not bothered, I'm halfway through with this now, I'm not going to go, woo! <laughs> you know, it's, um, yeah, like I say, it's not something that someone might necessarily think to do, but it's just nice to keep yourself active. Yeah, absolutely, right. really important. I've yeah. said I've quite a few of my, few of my vlogs recently. If you're spending a lot of time in on in indoor clothes, yeah. like we all like, as well, you know, there are a lot of people working from home and such. Yeah, make sure you try your favourite jeans on every two days. Yeah, yeah, because they're the first warning sign. Yeah, I I got to a point where I was just in shorts all the time. I was just in my you know, just in shorts, I'm just like, I want to feel some sort of normality, like my birthday, I said my birthday was last week, and I got myself dressed up, and I did a family quiz later on that day, and I got myself dressed up, tried to do my hair, but I need an haircut, so I just put my hat back on, um, <laughs> <laughs> just like, it, it, look at this, it, it, it ain't worth it, I just, I just need, I need an haircut, um, but now I've got, you know, sprayed my, you know, Spray myself after shit, just like just sort of trying to have some sort of normality. Me and Dion both got dressed up for it, and then after we did the family the family quiz, we just sat in the living room and watched telly for the rest of the night. Nice. <laughs> and just got drunk on cider. <laughs> I, I think stuff like that gets underestimated, and yet yeah. it's actually massively important. Really yeah. important. Yeah. It's like um, me and me and Jason are. Good, a lot of the time are quite avid cyclists but of course at the moment you yeah. know uh but we got the we've got an exercise bike and we said at least every day we'll do some on the exercise bike yeah but the last two nights we've gone out on the bike only yeah to, i noticed that you said that you've gone out on the bike yeah, just yeah. a two mile circular from our house a big area around and then back to ours but it just it felt great to just yeah get out get some air you know yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't suppose you've seen on my Instagram where um, near me, where I am at the moment, we've got um, it's quite a hilly area. It's got a lot of nature, that like nature area, um, and I keep going up there, and it's just like you get to the peak of it, like the top of it, and you can just see like the county of Leicestershire, right. and it's just um, amazing. You just like bloody hell, like <laughs> I really miss going down the south of Leicester. I can't. It's weird. We can't even do that. But I can't. We just can't. Even, we can't just jump in the car and go down the road. I can't even go around. You know, I can't go to see my mum and dad. It's just. I think. It's just. It's just crazy. Like, I think people need to realise how lucky we are. We can do these sort of things when this is finally over. I think we, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping, hoping with all hope that it's going to be <clears throat> a very changed world. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't think we can go back to the way things were before. Yeah. I, I think everyone will start to appreciate the smallest things much, much more. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, me and Jason were talking just the other night saying that we felt really lucky that we had each other to go through this with. Yeah, yeah. And we understand that there's some people out there who haven't got anybody, which is why we spend so much time on YouTube trying yeah. to get a company for 
for people and just you know so that they've got their company yeah i mean it, it's I'm, I'm i'm very grateful i've got the on with me as well because i know i know for a fact my dad probably would have killed me by now so do we did <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know he'll appreciate me saying that but uh, no i think it, it's just it's you know having someone there who you love and care about and who loves and cares about you and it's just nice you know and you can confide in them and you know it, it it's nice and i know i know for a fact that i do be on dead in time to time so uh, i'm one of these people i like to wind people up but then you know later on at night when i've calmed down i've had my fun i'm like i'm sorry for doing that earlier <laughs> give me a cuddle now <laughs> But no, I think, yeah, it's just nice, and, you know, it's, it's nice the fact that we get to, I mean, obviously it's awful that we're both not working at the moment, but it's nice to wake up in the morning and have mornings with each other, which we never used to have before. It's yeah. nice to do that, and it's nice just to put, you know, put the radio on or just, you know, put a band on that we like and we can just chill. Well, this is what I mean. I mean, the core of my vlogs has always been trying to look on the bright side, even through the shittest times. So yeah. Now is the perfect time for it, really, because it is, yes. you know, we do every day. Honestly, every single day I am aware of and really grateful and acknowledge that I'm grateful for the fact that I've got a roof over my head, a partner that I love, a home, a comfortable home with running water and food in the cupboards. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And yeah. entertainment at my disposal. And it's like these are the things that a lot that a lot of us do take for granted. Yeah, yeah. So we're always looking at what can I have more. Right, yeah. I enjoyed that movie. What's the next one? That was a great bo box set. What's the next one? Oh, yeah. Greece was great. We're next year. Everything's always instead of ah, let's just acknowledge this. Yeah, it's, yeah. So I, no one really ref takes the time to reflect on anything. No, just let's just get the be next best thing. You know, it, I think it's like with, I think the thing is like with Instagram and Facebook, like you don't see people going, oh, I'm doing this and doing that. It's, you know, they're actually reflecting now when they're showing the yeah. spirit, which is not, I mean, I'm not saying people can't show off what they've got because that'd be stupid, but it's just nice seeing people going, well, I went to do this, I went to go help me now and do the shopping, that sort of thing, rather than going, oh, I got shit face last night. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, yeah. That sort of thing. Nice yeah, to see so many people cooking as well. Yeah. Yeah. Banana bread has never been so popular. Do you know what? I've still not tried it. I don't like bananas. So <laughs> I, 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 I think it's one of them. I think if I make it, and I, try, I think I'll probably like it because I've made it, but it, I don't know what it is. I, just, I don't like the taste of bananas, or I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm going to get Dion to make it. She's been my personal chef at the moment. So. <laughs> yes, it's not massively keen on bananas either, and particularly yeah. hates anything that tastes like synthetic banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I have made banana bread, he's been like, ah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's, not yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's not great, but it keeps eating it. <laughs> so, Ryan, what yeah. what thing did you find the, more, the most difficult to give up? And I'm not saying, like, you're pining for it all the time. It's just yeah. that, you know, it was the, was it, was it eggs? Was it milk? Was it cheese? It was cheese. Cheese. Uh, it, it was literally cheese. Um, it, it's funny because, like I said, I was buying. Um, obviously, before I was buying Bio Life cheese, I was um, buying soy milk. I'm thinking that's fine. Yeah, you know, but when I was vegetarian, I was having. Uh, when I started like, my whole fitness regime, um, I wasn't drinking milk. I was drinking soya, but I was still having cheese. Thinking, uh, you know, uh, but then I wasn't really necessarily thinking of animal rights at the time. It was just more, oh, this is healthier sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, cheese, literally, like, I mean, once again, um, I'll mention my dad here, like, he loves cheese, and since I've stopped eating it, he, he'll have it, he, he's got it for ages now, whereas <laughs> he'd buy, he buy something off, the block would be gone by the end of the day, because I just, I, I loved it that much, and then, like I said, after vegan campfire, it was just sort of like, done, I'm done with it, I can't, I can't carry on with it, it was to get, you know, and it, by, by that point at campfire, I, I had it in my head, that I need to stop. And then it was just after camp out. I was like, no, I can't, I can't carry on. I can't, I can't keep doing it because I knew my head it went wrong. I knew my heart it went right. So why am I going to carry on doing something that I know it's making me miserable? Like I'd eat it, the time I enjoy it, then I sit there and think, bloody hell, that's, that's 
it's, you know, this, this is where cheese comes from, and it just made me feel bad, and I couldn't carry on doing it anymore. You know, it, it, it was, it was, you know, I did find it hard at first, but it was just having that, just, you know, I think it was like the next few days I just went and bought, went to Tesco, asked the whatever, just went straight to the vegan cheese section, I love that, I love that, I love that, I just had a variety of options in the fridge waiting for me, you know, and then, yeah. Yeah, it saves, it saves me getting a bollock off my dad for having his as well. <laughs> so, did you did you have a really kind of, um, I hate to use the word awakening. Yeah. But, did you have a real kind of awakening at Vegan Campaign? And, I, I just find it really interesting that, yeah. you're obviously a compassionate guy. You're, I yeah. mean, I, I find it really interesting that I was veggie for 20 years. Yeah. Many years, and I never yeah. at, what, at one time acknowledged yeah. dairy and eggs, and then I started, at, and as soon as I had kind of, no, that's what happens, full yeah. stop, and I was done. So I just find it really interesting that we have these awakenings. For me, it was a documentary called Veducated. Yeah, so I've not, I've not seen that. There's a few. There's a lot of documentaries that people have mentioned to me, but it wasn't documentaries that did it. It wasn't documentaries that did it for me. It was um, watching the likes of uh, James Aspie and Jerry Garbshaw that did it. And it's funny because I remember um, when I was vegetarian, I remember watching a, uh, a James Aspie um, speech. I think it's that this, this speech will change your life. I can't remember what it's called, but um, I remember sitting. I remember sitting there listening to it. And I'm thinking. He's right, but it still took me another two years to go vegan. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It, 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 it was it's weird. weird, yeah. But then I remember watching Joey Carl's show and thinking, this guy's a nutter, and now he's someone I look up to. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It was just, but I think it's because, I think it was just, I, I was one of these people that I don't like this approach of telling me I'm wrong, but then if people keep telling me I'm wrong, then I need to re reevaluate what I'm doing. And it was just reevaluating and looking what, I, what I'm doing and then, just you know, look watching their videos and just realising that it's easy to go vegan. It really is. You know, it's. I mean, it was. Um, and he was. Uh, I, I was watching uh, a lot of Hench Herbivore as well recently. Well, well, the last before camp out, watching a lot of him, and I was like, this guy is massive. He's kept, you know, he's got all these recipes. I'm thinking, if he can do it, why can't I do it? You know, it, it, As we say up north, he's what we call built like a brick shit house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see that recipe video that we did of his? The... No, I've seen that you've done it. I've said to Dion, we need to watch that because we need. I want to get his book as well. I oh, do want to get his book. Well, it's at, it's. I think it's like half price at the moment because of the lockdown. But is, honestly, is it a book or is it an ebook? It's an ebook. Oh, that's what, yeah. That's, what, that's fine. I'll get. I'll yeah, get it's yeah. an ebook. Uh, but it's it's honestly brilliant. I after doing that recipe now, I can't wait to do more. But that one, the pineapple and black bean Caribbean stew, oh, that was nice. It was <laughs> it was awesome, and it did me and Jason for dinner with rice and then lunch the next day and a big lunch too. It was yeah. beautiful, really. I mean, yeah, Dion's been doing a lot of because um, she was um, a meat eater when I met her. And she went vegan. I mean, we got together in. I know she's going to kill me because I think we got together in September. <laughs> um, but then she went vegan around November time, um, and that was. I think you know it was just she'd asked me questions about it and stuff. But I never really spoke to her about it. And then we watched um, Game Changers because obviously that was quite big at one point. I just shown it on. I said, "Let's just watch this." And she was like, "Okay." Uh, so I, don't, I, I think I'd watched it, but then I made out I hadn't watched it, just so I could put it on. Um, and then she watched it, and then the next day she just sort of went, "I'm going to stop eating meat." Just literally like that, done. And the funny thing is, she's a she she comes from a family that eat you know bit family gatherings. There's a lot of meat on the table um, from you know from what she told me, and uh, you know it was like she you know she used to work in a pub. And she'd go on a break, and she was having steak and chips. So she was always eating steak on her breaks. And then to go from doing that, eating the amount of meat she was, to then go for one overnight, and she's not touched it since. She's had a few moments recently where she's like, "I'm really craving a burger," but, but it's you know she will do. It's it it you know it is. Let's say it is, people get addicted to it. People get addicted to eating meat. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And but I think it's just it's just a case of finding the right alternative. It's yeah. like me, me and Jason are huge burger fans. Yeah. Really big burger fans. But we love Linda McCartney quarter pounders. They're yeah. beautiful. And yeah. they're a real good beefy. And Iceland have brought out a steak style burger now. Is that uh, the no ball ones? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll at least try them. And they're gorgeous. Yeah. I'll I tell you what, your videos on the, the vlogging of going around the shops, they really helped me um, at the start of the year. I was just like, I don't know what I'm looking for. Cause I go in a shop and be like, I'd be like, right, I want this. And then I'd go and get the shop and I'd just get overwhelmed because I was like, wait, what's this? What's that? And I'd just forget what I'm doing. And then, like, you're going in, getting all the stuff, and I'm like, I'm writing it down. I'm like, right, get in there. <laughs> I just go in. I just go, in, like, I just go in as a blank canvas. I'm like, I just leave something vegan. Then I don't forget what I'm doing, and I'll just leave with crisps. You know? <laughs> That's exactly why, why we made those videos, to just kind of show... You can just go in and go, do 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 get the, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's good to hear. Um, are you all right, Jason? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, what's your do you have a kind of um regular meal that you really love that you've now veganized or just is vegan anyway uh and it's one of your favorite vegan meals this this question tends to throw people yeah um well, i think like i mean i can say pizza kind of pizza was my favorite food ever and then to see all these companies like like aldi when they released their pizzas and they're good as well aren't they're they pretty much <laughs> i mean i remember finishing at the time i worked at tesco and uh, i remember finishing work early i finished at like eight in the morning and i walked down to my local aldi just to go get the pizzas on the day that yeah you know, i was one of the first people in <laughs> to get, just because i wanted them i think i bought about six <laughs> so i'm having these <laughs> And, and why not? We've, yeah. we've actually found the... There's two you can get from Iceland that are two quid each. Yeah. One's hummus and one's Mediterranean vegetable. They're both good. Yeah. The Aldi one, we've only tried the um, barbecue jackfruit. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah. Uh, from Aldi. Oh, no, we had... Um, there's a cauliflower one, isn't there? Is yeah, we haven't tried yeah. that. But there's also a, a, a vegan bacon and mushroom one. I've not seen... I've had, have I tried that one? You know, it's been so long since I've had a pizza since it's locked down. I can't remember it what was, I've had. <laughs> it was quite good, but we, of course, we're completely hooked on the Chicago town stuff crust at the Yeah, moment. yeah, yeah. That, that, that was reaching me at one point. <laughs> it to me my money. <laughs> Rinsed to me money and gaining me inches on my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Try that. That's what I'm having to do all this running. <laughs> but no, it's, um, yeah, that... Uh, so that, pizza that, yeah. is one of the things you've found you don't have to compromise with because there's still great pizzas that are vegan. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I'm, I'm a bit unsure on this, but is the Papa John's pizza normal, yeah, with the normal base, is that vegan? I'm confused. One of them, one of, one of them definitely is because I see a lot of people ordering from Papa John's. Yeah. I don't have any up here that I know of. Uh, I've ordered from it. I'm, get, I'm getting a bit concerned because I'm like, I know there's a butternut squash um, base you can have, but that, I'm just like, I, it says it's a vegan option, so I'm thinking, wait, is the dough that I'm having, like what I've ordered before, is that not vegan then? Maybe it's just a yeah. cross content thing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. That's usually the thing, isn't it? But what I know loads of people order <clears throat> from Papa John's, because I've heard rage people raging about this garlic butter or garlic sauce you can get from Papa John's. Yeah, yeah. oh, it's well worth it. It's the frosting. Yeah, oh, it's well worth it. I tell you what, that um, dad's vegan. Uh, oh. uh, do you know what? I, I like the Facebook page, and I've not had pizza or, or anything like that since this lockdown. And I keep seeing pictures putting up. I'm thinking, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to follow it because <laughs> I really want some. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, he's, he's about this group collective thing. If I get a few people down in Leicester, do you think he'll deliver to me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'll Maybe. probably make it worth his while. I'll order about with your quid's worth. <laughs> have you not got a pizza place nearby that that that, that does have like? Because that's something else I think it's worth promoting as well throughout these vlogs is now, now and again, like 
<clears throat> you'll see a lot of people posting in Facebook groups and saying, if I wanted to order a Chinese, what do I order? Yeah. I always say, just phone them. Phone yeah. them and tell them that you're vegan. And they'll probably say, right, I can do you this, 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 or this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think pizza parlours, by and large, would probably do the same thing. If their bases are vegan, yeah. they can always make pizza without cheese. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Um, I think we've got one down in Leicester. I'm not quite sure what it's called. I think it's called Mr. Veggie. Um, I'm not... I think, I think it's called Mr. Veggie, and I know they've got a vegetarian and a vegan menu. Okay. I, I, th I think they have. I think I've, I've got, I'm sure I know someone has ordered it off there, and I'm sure I liked their Facebook page ages ago, but I've just not seen anything since. But I'm sure it was Mr. Veggie, and it's located in like, the centre of town. I'm not sure where in Leicester, but I've so been told it's in town, Leicester somewhere, Mr. Veggie. I've not tried it, but I do want to. If it's from <laughs> Leicester. Yeah, if you Leicester, check it out. <laughs> Check honestly. Check your local area for takeaways, guys, because it's um, yeah. you never know. You never know what you might get. There's I was pretty appalled. We've Sorry. got a Chinese chippy across the road, and they've got a huge menu of Chinese dishes. Yeah. Uh, but we, it's Oldham is a very northern working class town. Is everything with gravy there? <laughs> and all the, all the takeaway dishes are aimed at that palate. Yes. Yeah. I went in recently, and they do do some vegetable dishes, but I just said, do you do anything with tofu at all? And she went, oh, no, not tofu. With a very strong Chinese accent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now I was just like, wow. And that, and that's not because it's because it wouldn't sell. Yeah, well, I suppose, yeah, yeah. Do you? That's what I mean, did the tofu go out of date? I've never really, I don't think I've even, I don't think I've ever eaten tofu. <laughs> No, well, it's we avoided it for about the first year and a half of being vegan, to be honest. <laughs> like, look, it's a block of thrush. We don't want to touch it. <laughs> right. um, but then uh, <clears throat> we tried kind of the crispy baked tofu recipe. Amazing. Yeah. We have scrambled tofu now. If ever we have a breakfast, be it for breakfast or breakfast for dinner. Like yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and... Uh, Chucked in a stir fry. Now I love it. There's so much I can do with it now. I have I have seen the scrambled tofu, but I just think now you look at stuff, you think that looks really good, and then you think I can't be harsh. <laughs> it's one of those. I'm like, oh, I, I need to do it. I need to make them. I can't. Uh, yeah, because it's dead simple. Palette, doing it. It's real. I'll, I'm going to whack our while we're talking about recipes. I'm going to yeah, whack yeah. our re recipes playlist up there because if you if you if you're looking for tofu dishes, you search that uh, our channel. For tofu everything we've ever done with tofu will come up same if you search for the word breakfast dinner soup yeah. pies pasties brownies cookies it, it's all there yeah it, and it's trust me ryan i don't <laughs> do things that take ages and are dead complicated because i'm a lazy yeah. cook. i am a lazy cook <laughs> I like things that i can do quick cook quick and eat yeah i think that's one of the things i, funny enough, I find that one of the good things going vegan is that you can just cook things so quick. Yeah. You're not having to wait for, you know, having burgers. You're, you're waiting ages for them to cook because obviously you don't want to give yourself salmonella or whatever disease they can give you. <laughs> Whereas you have a vegan burger, it's done 10 minutes maybe, yeah. 12 minutes, and then, you, you know, job done. You can have another four bites so once the ones cook the meat burger. <laughs> I think that was my problem, and that's why I'm so fat now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question about your mates, Ryan. Um, yeah. How've how they? Because we all know about lad culture. Yeah. You know, even though me and Jason are a gay couple, we've still got a lot of straight male friends, yeah. and together we are very laddish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what? How? Have you come up against any kind of, oh, you big, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you're going to get it from, the, you know, when you go to the pub, you know, and it, the topic comes up or, you know, whatever. You, you're going to get, oh, what are you doing that for, you fairy? <laughs> you know, many of me. Uh, yeah, but yeah, bear in mind, I'm six foot four and a half. Like that. 
and they're about five foot one, telling me that real men eat meat. I'm thinking, oh, that's <laughs> fish, <you>, mate. <laughs> but um, no, I've not really had any backlash. I don't really tend to go on about it. It's like, you know, I'll say, I mean, obviously, when you go to the pub and get drunk, I used to order pizzas, you know, you know meat feast. Now I'm just like, you know, I'll say to them, oh, tonight I've got a Chicago town vegan pizza. They go, oh, where'd you get that from? Oh, Tesco. You know, it's easy. I don't really seem to get any jip from it. And to be honest, a lot of people who I associate with now are vegan. So that was quite easy. Um, and to be honest, if it wasn't for them people, I'd probably... I mean, the reason why I went vegan camp out was because one of my friends who already is vegan. And he was like, oh, come camp out. And uh, he was playing. But he played at um, camp out last year. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Did, did, did you go see Lost Boys? They were a dance group. They won, won the, I think they were back, I'm trying to think back, I was quite drunk that day. There's a lot of stories where I'm drunk. <laughs> um, but I'm sure they, they were on about, if I remember rightly, it was about six, seven o'clock, maybe eight o'clock they were on, in, in one of the, not the main stage, they were in the other side. Uh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah they're, like, they're, in the music building. I yeah, think. yeah, they yeah, were in there. Um, no, I didn't, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah they were really good. <laughs> To be honest with you, although we had the most amazing time at Vegan, at, at vegan Camp Out, we didn't actually see much. Mm. I mean, we did. I got to meet James Aspie and John Venus and, and yeah, yeah, so yeah. many other people, but just by walking around. Yeah. You know, well, I was only there for um, the few. I literally went up with my mate because he was like, um, Enter Shikari going to be there. Well, not Enter Shikari, but. Ra Reynolds went to Shikari's going to be there, and I'm a massive fan of Andy Shikari. Right. I was like, yeah, well, sorry, I'll go. Because um, he was doing um, an acoustic set and he was DJing later on that night. Nice one. I was like, oh, sorry, I'll go for that. And um, I'm really bad at it because when the, sh um, the Alter Ego Shikari sound system came out, I was right at the front and uh, I managed to get a hug with Ra and have a high five. And I, literally the week before, I had an Andy Shikari tattoo done. And in my drunken state, I was like, well, oh, well, look at me tattoo I had done. And I put my leg up on the barrier. <laughs> Luckily, he, he was all he was all right with it. And he went, oh, I said, I'm going out to me and get me a hug. And then went off to the next person. This is already oh. set. I was like, what a lovely guy. <laughs> but no, yeah, and no, that was, yeah. That was the night you became Oh, that was the night. And I was literally, I, I, I couldn't stay for the whole thing. I was devastated. But I, I'm, it was probably a good thing I did because I... Passed out in my friend's car on the way back. <laughs> I just remember taking eight cans of like Audi, um, like equivalent to Stella, at one time. This during my mate's Lost Boy set, and I just remember by the time I left, there was one can in my hand. <laughs> in a forty-five minute set, I smashed seven cans. Wow. So it's probably a good thing I went home. <laughs> you had a good time then. Oh, I had a great time. I, I mean, I'm <laughs> hoping, I'm hoping it's on this year. I'll be devastated if it's. If it's I bad. know. We again, me and Jay were talking about it recently. We because it's like they've cancelled um, Oktoberfest now. Oh right, yeah. Uh, which is actually in October, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I, it, we're like, I mean. Yeah. I, I had devastating news today that um, Little Mix had been cancelled in Leicester, so I was I'm not going to that now. So I'm a bit good. I'm a bit gutted about that. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, I must say I'm only going. I was only going to Little Mix because I couldn't get tickets to Katavian when they play back in Leicester. <laughs> uh, it was one of them. My dad tried to get tickets for us all. So six of us. Uh, um, I've got um, three other siblings and my mum and dad. We were going to go watch Katavian when they come back to Leicester off your hometown gig. Um, couldn't get tickets, and then my mum were like, I'll, "I'll get his all tickets for Little Mix instead." Which my dad were like, "No, I ain't doing that." So <laughs> mum got six tickets, and the six ticket went to my uh, my brother's friend. I'm gutted that's not happening now. So I love little mix. <laughs> and it would have been a great little family gathering, no doubt. Exactly. Just me dad me dad would be at home. <laughs> He'd appreciate all the peace and quiet. <laughs> so let me ask you, Ryan, uh, yeah. as a as a six foot four bearded bloke in your in your uh, in your early um, vegan life. Yeah. What advice would you give to other, I suppose, particularly vegetarians, because that's what I'm seeing a lot is that people yeah. vegetarian first and then became vegan. So, what message do you think vegetarians need to hear, especially those that truly believe they're saving animals by not eating meat? 
I'd say just look at the dairy industry. I'd say look at um, Jerry Carbstrong's Dairy is Scary um, videos he did. I mean, that is heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to watch that and to know that, you know, it's just knowing that they're taking the babies away. Yeah. From forms, and it's just like you just see them, you know, trying to go after them. And it's like, you know, you'll see footage of, of um, you know, calves being bought and dragging them out, chucking them into a bloody skip or whatever, and and then you can see the, the the cow going, you know, going after it, you know, screaming. Yeah. You think, what the hell are we doing? What the hell are we doing? I mean, and then it's you know, just do the re, just look into it. I mean, the thing is, it's like you don't. I, I never connect, you know. I never connected, you know, as I said before, the, the dairy industry with being a bad thing. But if anything, I say it's worse than the meat industry. Knowing what we do, it, it, it's it's not right. And the fact it's been normalised and we've grown up. Yeah, it's, it's normal. I mean, the way I see it, I mean, people might say it's a bit extreme, but I just think to myself, if that was a woman that was trapped, locked up, you know, and probably there probably is cases where women have been locked up in bred babies and, you know, never got to see them, but obviously not eating the babies, obviously. But, um, but yeah, I think so. Like, any sort of, whenever you see an animal in distress, I always think, what if that was a human? You know, and it's like, even with, like, you see, you know, you see, like, cute little videos of piglets and lambs and, you know, I've got kids and you just look at these piglets and lambs and they're innocent, the same as my children. And you just think, I'm here, I'm, I, you know, they trust me. I'm there to protect them, and it's just like when you see people, you know, abusing animals. You know, it's sad. It's sad. You, you know, we need to just make the connection. That everything is that everyone deserves to live. Everything deserves to live. With no, we have no right to abuse and exploit animals at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dead right about the dairy industry. We. Uh... Yeah. The last story I uploaded actually from Kylie two days ago, and yeah. I want the list uh, up there uh, of of all of these stuff because it's been it's, it's been a great series. I'm really enjoying making yeah. it, hearing people's stories. But Kylie was a vet a veterinary nurse. Yeah, working on a farm. Was that the girl from Devon? Yes. Yeah. No, I did watch her last night, and you know, is that question you asked about having a child? Does it make you more maternal? And you know, and it. When I watched that, I was just like thinking, it did make me think I want to protect my child the same way I'd protect a, a lamb, a yeah. kitten, a puppy, a piglet. You know, it, I, I, you know, I'd probably, want to yeah. protect. We want to protect the young and innocent yeah. of all species. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, basically. It, it, uh, it, it, yeah, it's a shame that we've got to this, but. You know, it. You know, we've got to do everything we can to make make things brighter for the future. <laughs> Indeed. Do you do you think you would ever go back? Is this you now vegan for life? Yeah. No, I'm not a chance. Um, I've, I've, you know, it was like because I was vegetarian for so long, I didn't want to eat meat then. So it it was. I mean, especially with like I said once again when I went vegan, I don't want to touch dairy now. I don't. I want nothing to do with it. it it's, it's wrong. <laughs> it's, it's wrong. Um, you know. I think people need to actually look into it. I mean, I don't understand how you can get humane. How you can do something humanely that's harming an animal. I, I don't understand where. And then it's just the excuses that people. But it's what they've been brought up with, and that's just it. It, 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 it. it puts me in a position where I'm thinking. I don't think you're a bad person, but. I think what you're doing is wrong. You know, when the when the dairy commercials advertise their new healthy organic grass fed yeah. milk, they show two or three cows with a beautiful sunset chewing yeah. grass. They don't show someone shoving an arm up their ass and artificially yeah. inseminating them and then taking the baby away. The marketing is very powerful. I I, I, I mean, it's like was it um. <laughs> Was it was it Arla who had them commercials where they had the cow trying to get the milk back? Was, was it Arla or I'm sure that years ago 
It wouldn't surprise me. It's funny, it's just like, I think I was thinking, I hope that happens one day. I hope these cows break out and beat the crap out so on the weapons wrap their milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking it was so good the cows want it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that good they want it back. I'm thinking, that. yeah, you bloody would want it back. <laughs> yeah, they want the babies back too. From oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought that it should be an action film. <laughs> Have, have the rock play one of the cows and watch his family back. <laughs> Good old Dwayne. Yeah, Dwayne right, the closing, Johnson. <laughs> closing statements, Ryan. Uh, have, yeah. you, uh, have you got anything you would like to end with? All I'm going to say is do your research, have a look, and if you, you know if you don't agree with the way that animals are treated, and you're vegetarian, look into the dairy industry and just you know make make your mind up basically. Make your mind up. Just, if you don't agree with, if you don't agree with animals being tortured, don't buy dairy products. Simple. And if you don't agree with baby chickens being ground alive or gassed yeah. in pot bags, don't buy eggs. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. Right, Ryan, cheers, man. Thank you so oh, much for, right. for taking part in this uh, in this series. It's great to hear your vegan story. Uh, lots of love to you and Dion. Thank you. So thank, uh, thank you for the shout out the other day on my birthday. Sorry. Uh, she, thank you for the shout out on my birthday the other day. She didn't know that I wrote a message and she got a bit, bit, bit teary because she, oh. you know, she tried her hardest to make, make a, make the best out of a shit situation. Well, it sounded <laughs> like it was a lovely situation for you both. Oh, but it was. Yeah. I mean, we spent That's the hour bad. watching you. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, Ryan. Nice one, dude. I, I, this shall be uploaded today. Thank you so much for taking part in the series, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Stay yeah. vegan, bro. You do. See you later. Bye. <laughs> uh...